All right, guys, you guys can start start with questions. Uh, uh, Coach, do you just want to start it out about an opening remark about the season that volleyball did have before tonight? Uh, you know what? I mean, it's uh, obviously a, a heartbreaking uh, loss for for volleyball. Um, but what a, what a remarkable year that they've had. I mean, Danny, her staff, those young young ladies, really have been nothing but a but a beacon of bright light for our athletic department uh, to do something that's never been done before. To get to a Final Four, it goes to five games. I, I mean, you know, unbelievable. Just an absolutely unbelievable year. And as a basketball program, a women's basketball program, we couldn't be prouder of them. Um, you know, our kids wanted to stay out there, of course, to watch the end there, watch that fifth game, and our hearts, our hearts go out to them. Uh, but as we've told our teams before in the past that have had the opportunity to get there, you know, one game does not define your entire season. And obviously, they wanted to have that opportunity to play on Saturday, play for a national championship. But that one game is not going to take away from the wonderful year they had, the bond that they built, the friendships that they built. Um, you know, when they come back for a 10 year re re reunion, um, it's going to be a lot of great stories, a lot of smiles, some tears, and just. You know, you, you don't talk about the one game. It's not one game. It's the experiences, the bonds, the friendships, the laughter that you had outside of your matches. And that that's something no one's ever going to be able to take away from them. Speaking to your team, a really great defensive effort for you all tonight. You held them to 25% shooting, uh, forced them into 40, or excuse me, 25 turnovers. Uh, just talk about the effort. I thought in the... First, third, and fourth quarters, we defended extremely well. That's that second quarter, we let things get away from us a little bit, played a little sloppy. But overall, the the other three, I thought, were outstanding. And then I thought I, I thought we shared the ball well. I was really excited with that. And you know, Ke Kiana had made a, a couple in a row, and then we kept looking for her, which is really so, uh, something that we stress in practice. When someone gets the, the hot hand, look for them. It doesn't mean they have to shoot it, but at least let them touch the ball because then if they don't shoot it, normally they're running two or three people at them, and good things can happen. And I thought we, we did a great job of that tonight. Jeff, uh, you, you got your bench in there at, at near the end of the first quarter, and they, and they kind of – you know, took the ball and, and, and shot it well in the second half, I mean, excuse me, in the second quarter and getting things started. I mean, how, how important was that for, you know, for them, especially when you have UConn coming up on Sunday? Yeah, I, I was pleased. I thought our bench played well. I was excited for Pey Pey Peyton Verholst. I thought she really did, did some nice things at the offensive end as well as rebounding the ball. Um, and and she, she she's one that's going to continue to to need some game time, some need experience, but she's practiced well, and that's one thing I've I've tried to explain to all of them. It, it's not an accident. When you practice well, you normally play well. It's not a guarantee, but that's normally what's going to happen. But you know, through my 15 years as a head coach and 28 or 29 total, when you've had a few bad days of practice, it's very seldom that I see someone come out and play well. Um, so really excited for her from that end standpoint. I thought Norika Kono passed the ball extremely well, uh, goes two of four from three, which was nice to see. Mikasa played a, a all, all, all around, I thought, a really good game. And she also passed the ball, four assists, one turnover. Same thing with Chelsea. So, you know, we're getting better, I thought. We clean things up a little bit on offense. Now, they played a lot of zone, which is good for us to see because I'm sure we'll see that throughout the season. Uh, but, you know, we've still got work to do these next two 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 days before we take on a, a, a really, really good basketball team on Sunday. I guess with the kind of zone that they played, how encouraged were you to, to make 11 three-pointers? Well, I, I thought we – it, it well, I thought we started off taking too many. I, I thought we were taking too many too quick. And then we got the ball reversed. We went inside out, and we were able to shoot some threes in rhythm. 
And when we do that, good things will will take place. And it, it was nice to see him go in, and I think our kid our kids were excited to, to see that as well. Coach, just kind of an update on Olivia Cochran. Uh, obviously, didn't play this evening. How's she doing? No, she's uh, she's doing mu much better. Uh, you know, we'll we'll practice again tomorrow. She she's been doing a, so, some light workouts with the team, uh, and we're progressing well. So ho hopefully, if all goes well, she'll be able to play on Sunday. Some of the things you'll take out of this game as you do get ready for UConn. Well, I mean, offensively, we we have to be patient. We're going to have have to cut harder. We're going to have to pass the ball pass the ball better, and then we're going to have to def defend and and rebound because they have some some really nice size, and we're not going to be able to just jump up and get it. We're going to have to have, have to put a body on somebody. Um, so it's it's going to be fun. It, it's going to be a really good basketball game, and we're and we're excited to to make the trip up. You feel like this is a good time of year to play a, a kind of game like that. I mean, I know December the games get the competition gets tougher, but um, is that game kind of falling at the right point for you all? Well, I, you know, it's just one one of those that worked out. It's when the their event was up there at the Mah Mahegan Sun, so we're, we're excited to play the game, and then our kids will go home for Christmas after that game. So we'll uh, we'll spend the night out at the Hartford Airport. Uh, on Sunday night, then then they'll all fly fly their own way home, um, and be home for about four or five days, and come back on the 26th and, and get prepared for our a ACC opener on the 30th. So, it it, uh, it it's a nice ball game for us to be able to say, okay, where are we? Where are we? Then when we come back from Christmas break, we know exactly what we have to work on before we start ACC play. I guess with Olivia specifically, what what was it that was bothering her? Oh, well, she she just got hit, hit hit in the head. She got a knee to the head oh, during yes. our game. Okay, oh, from from Sunday. From Sunday, yes, from from Sunday. Was she in uh, any kind of con concussion protocol? Well, that that's what she 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 she's going through right now. Oh, okay. You know, she just we we do things exactly what our trainers and doctors you know, and we have followed him. That that's why she did not go back in on on, on Sunday's game. I guess after Sunday, um, how encouraging was that to, I guess, to have that kind of game and maybe not have a, a letdown as emotional as that game was? On well, Sunday. I thought it was great. And that's one thing we had talked about was it's not who we play, it's how we play. And we've got to, to continue to develop some habits and make sure they're good habits. Um, and I thought we, we did some, some really good things tonight. Thank you, everybody.